Well, good to see you, Tyler. How's things? Good. Doing good, man. Thanks now, for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so uh, real fast, before we start off with, you know, with Astronomicon and everything, uh, being that you grew up in Canada, are you watching the, the playoffs? Uh, no, I'm too busy. Okay. <laughs> I'm too busy, but... I was just back in Canada this last weekend at Niagara Falls Comic Con, which was really cool. So it was good to go back and see some family and friends and have a good time. Yeah, I saw that you were there. Uh, that's a really uh, neat part of the uh, country over there on the uh, Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah. The whole, the Horseshoe Falls and everything, it's just, it's majestic. You can't beat it. Yeah, and the whole uh, Clifton Hill thing I really like. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the I, meat I, I love that area. It's just so relaxing to go, you know? Mm. Now, you grew up in a Western Canada, is that correct? I did. I'm a Saskatchewan boy. Don't hold that against me, though. <laughs> I play hockey in the morning. I don't know if this name would ring a bell, but uh, I play hockey with Lyle Fair. Do you remember Lyle Fair? I do not. Okay. Anyways, he's from yeah, he's from that part of the country. I didn't know if you'd, if you'd recognize that name or not. Oh. Well, I, I, it was funny because I just got to see Wendell Clark again. Hadn't seen Wendell for, you know, since probably 1990 something, you know, when he went and started playing with the the Leafs. So that was cool to kind of reunite with him. Do you know a lot of hockey players? I know a few. Yeah, yeah. You know, Wendell, Joey, uh, you know, they've made it up the ranks and, and done really well. So... <laughs> No, that's cool. Well, of course, uh, Vegas could, as we record this, they could take it all tonight. I'm not sure how I feel about, uh, you know, listen, Vegas has been in the Stanley Cup finals now twice, and the Red Wings haven't even been in the playoffs in the sense of Vegas uh, came into the league. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I mean, I, I don't understand why Vegas even has a team, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. I'm the old school kind of hockey guy, but what can you say? Yeah. So anyways, let's get on to what you got coming up. Uh, Astronomicon uh, 6.5, of course. Uh, you're a veteran of this uh, Comic-Con, aren't you? Yeah, I've been there a couple of times, and and uh, they called and asked if I wanted to come back. Um, and what we're doing this time is I've got my own production company, Main Entertainment. We are doing a graphic novel. So it's called The Last Spartan Red Tape. Imagine Sons of Anarchy meets True Detective Season 1 with a human trafficking theme. Mm. All right. So what we're doing is we're teaming up with human trafficking awareness organizations to help raise awareness and put a stop to the human trafficking that's going on in America and all over the world. So we're teaming up with Deliver Fund for, for this one. And what we're doing, oh, there's my alarm to say that I got to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're doing is I've teamed up with Trick or Treat Studios, who this year in, I believe it's October, are releasing the Rob Zombie Halloween masks. Mm. I asked if I could get some early, and they're like, for you, Tyler, no problem. It's going to a great cause. So I have the bad boys right here. Nice. Ah, there's, there's, there's the number one. And, and what is happening is I'm doing the photo ops in costume. Mm. And... One lucky fan wow. is going to win all three of these masks, plus the jumpsuit that we have that we've prepared for this show. So they're going to get the whole Tyler Main Halloween experience. They're going to have all three masks and the jumpsuit. One lucky winner. If people want to, they can get some extra raffle tickets for a chance to win this. Come see me at the photo op, and let's have a lot of fun. That's uh, that's really cool. I didn't realize that they were gonna have all the masks. I know that you're doing the the the, the pictures with twisted and all that stuff, and like you said, uh, deliverfund.org. So, uh, that's a uh, that's a foundation, like you said, that's trying to stop human trafficking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're 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 working diligently. There's there's several organizations that are uh, working to put an end to human trafficking. We're also teaming up with uh, Trafficking in America Task Force.org, which we're going to be doing some other conventions um for and and donating the funds to them to help them spread their word too yeah how Hopefully. much uh how much halloween paraphernalia do you have at your house or just paraphernalia in general from like your movies you've been in oh man i try and keep something from every movie that i've been in really so, yeah i like when i did jupiter's legacy 
that was just on Netflix. Um, I was dressed up as an alien in a complete suit. And I said, hey, could I get that suit? So they were very, you know, they cut it off specifically, re-put it onto a bust cast and gave it to me. So I have, I have my head of uh, Jupiter's Legacy in my office. I've got my Troy outfit. Mm. Uh, I've got the ears that I just wore in Doom Patrol. Um, I've got some saber tooth stuff. So I, I just try to keep something from everything I do, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of like that too. I like to keep little things like if, you know, if if a, if a band gives me a guitar pick or whatever the case is, you know, there's different things. I've got different things around my house too that you collect over the years. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it, it, it means something special to you and somebody else might go, oh, that's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But- yeah, one of my friends came in my in my rock room one day and said, "Dude, this is like worth a million dollars." I said, "Well, probably not. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> me, but it's not not to anybody else." Right? Yeah, but you've got the cool stories that go with that stuff, you know? Exactly. Which, which is uh, special. That's the thing. I got pictures all over my walls. I got pictures with the twisted guys and the whole thing. And you know, there's no truer statement than every picture. You know, tells a story. Yeah. That is that is so true, and and what a bunch of great guys those guys are, right? Yeah, great guys, the best. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so blown away. Anytime they call and say, "Hey, Tyler, we need you," I'm like, I'm there, you know. And of course, you are one of their videos uh, almost ten years ago now with a uh, boogeyman. Yeah, yeah, that was a while ago. Wait, thanks for telling me I'm old. I appreciate it. <laughs> <that. laughs> yeah, well, we're we're all getting there for sure, uh, right. but. Hey, so let me uh, let me back up to uh, to the Halloween thing. I'm sure you've heard every question you, there's a, is imaginable about, about uh, Halloween, but uh, I mean that I loved the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. I love the original ones too, but that one just kind of th- those movies just uh, the, the the two of them just kind of brought like a modern twist. And I got to be honest with you, with the exception of uh, Lords of Salem, I've pretty much liked everything Rob's done. So how do you get hooked up with a guy like Rob to 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 play Michael Myers and that? Well, to tell you the truth, I was I auditioned for uh, Devil's Rejects for a different part, the part that he gave to to Dallas Page. Mm-hmm. What I didn't know is he was replacing the original Rufus, and he wanted me to replace the Rufus. Right. So I went there and worked for like four days on this, thought nothing of it, met Rob, met everybody. It was a cool time. And then uh, I think probably a year, a couple of years later, he calls me and goes, hey, Tyler, man, I wrote a movie for you. If you don't do it, I'm not doing it. I said, all right, what, what is it? And he goes, it's Halloween. I'm like, uh, okay, tell me about it, you know? And he said, how is the backstory? I'm going to make him more than a one-dimensional character, make him a three-dimensional character and and show how he's a product of his environment. I was like, I'm in, I'm sold, you know? And then we ended up doing two of them, so. Yeah, I mean, in a, let's, go, let's go back to Devil's Rejects real fast because uh, – Great movie. And my brother one time told me, I'll never forget this. And he's told me a lot of things I've forgotten over my life. But he said to me, he goes, you'll never listen to Freebird the same way. And that is entirely true. That's true. That is true. That ending is amazing. Amazing. I think the best part is before the credits roll in the beginning. Because that's when I die. I I was in the very short. I was like, oh, man, this is this is nuts. (laughs) You know? (laughs) But, uh, and, you know, there was a bigger plan, which is cool. Yeah, you've done some uh, some great stuff in your career, but uh, would you say that the Michael play Michael Myers in those two movies uh, really was life-changing for you? Oh, definitely. I mean, it, it's just, it's a fantastic character. I, I've been very lucky. I've had a, a few really cool characters, you know, like Sabretooth from the first X-Men, King Ajax from Troy. But Michael Myers is phenomenal mm-hmm. you know he is just uh he's the guy you know what i mean now uh, we're- i needed to kick it up a notch and and make it a little more aggressive and and knowing rob that's exactly what we did you know so all the action needed to be bumped up the kill counts needed to be high i think over the someone actually this last weekend uh said that i think between the two movies uh we killed 36 people and a dog <laughs> <laughs> Those movies are great. You must be packed like in October. You just must not have any room for anything else, huh? I'm I am pretty busy. I'm I'm pretty busy running all over the place, especially with our production company. And we got the graphic novel that we're going to be launching mid-October this year. So everybody, please look out for that. Um, and so yeah, we're we are busy. Busy. Yeah. 
Now, since we're at a rock station here, I know that uh, um, Zach Myers from Shinedown is a huge Michael Myers fan. Have you had a chance to run across him? No, I haven't. Okay. I... He, he actually has a really small part in the latest one. That's how much of a fan he is. They actually put him in one of the scenes. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. cool. Did he, did he get to, to die or did he did he stay alive, alive to live another day? I, I think that he was just part of a group that was in this restaurant. I don't think he I don't think he was killed off now that I, I recall. But did you see the latest one? And what are your thoughts? Because I thought it started out fantastic and then just crashed and burned. Yeah, I you know, I still think my favorites are mine. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with you on that. How about that? There we go. There we go. <laughs> what was it's, it like? What was it like? comment <laughs> yeah right what was it like to be uh you know uh directed by a guy like rob what does he like to work with oh fantastic because he's an entertainer himself mm -hmm. so he lets you do your thing and he knows that you need your creativity creative space to 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 be able to bring it and then he'll kind of caress it and say okay we should do this but like every morning going to set was the best because I'd come to work and he'd go, how you want to kill somebody today? You know, <laughs> and and we'd work it out and figure it out. And, and uh, it's just a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. Yeah. I'm a big fan of pretty much everything that Rob does his music, his movies, uh, all that stuff. And, and of course you got to work with Sherry as well. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. You know, it's like it, everybody in that film, it, it just became like family, you know, like scout Taylor Compton, Sherry, um, you, you know, Danielle Harris, all of them. It's just Malcolm, <laughs> you know, and there's Malcolm. He's another character there. I'm telling you, he couldn't stop making people laugh on set. <laughs> <laughs> just talking to you. It's like, you know, we're only beginning of the summer here. I just, I just can't wait for the leaves to fall off and get it to cool down. Now. I just want to get back into Halloween mode. Yeah. Right. Hey, I got a mask you can borrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm only five foot six. No one's going to be fooled by me. Well, so, hey, some of the earlier ones are shorter. Yeah. Are you the tallest? Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 I, I don't I don't know what the other guys are, but like, I mean, I'm 6'7", 265. So, yeah, I'm I'm definitely the biggest Michael Myers. Oh, and yeah. I think the scariest. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were also in uh, a, a Joe Dirt. I don't recall the, the, what you did in Joe Dirt. Uh, what did you play in there? Oh, I was the oil rig um worker that uh he challenges to the fight and i pick him up press him over my head throw him in, and then i burn up in uh a bunch of pee <laughs> <laughs> that's right so uh, you know that's fire i'm like i must have some really i must have drank a lot of jack daniels or something <laughs> <laughs> so uh that movie of course had uh detroit's own kid rock did you ever have a chance to interact with him at on set or any anywhere else oh yeah yeah he was a great guy Mm. you know everybody i i tend to get along with everybody you know and and have a great time we had we had a few few good conversations he was having fun <laughs> yeah yeah i know he yeah i think that uh, his guitar player actually gave him that line uh jason Krause gave him the line uh def leopard sucks i, I think i heard that story a few times oh, there you go <laughs> wow. so what else you got coming up this future uh the future plans you got pretty much like uh, the comic cons you got your uh your comic book you were talking about anything else that you can plug yeah, well, I've got a I've got a couple of things that I'm uh, getting in shape for that I got NDAs that I can't say anything about. But all right, on on uh, mainentertainment.com and and my Instagram and Twitters and stuff, and uh, you'll be seeing it soon. And by the way, I know that you were from the world of wrestling, so I had to wear this for my friend uh, Rhino. I don't know if you can see that the uh, insane, insane yeah. wrestling revolution. You know Rhino? I know Rhino. I know Ryan. I'll say hi to him next time you talk to him. Yeah, he he was there uh, at the last uh, Astronomicon. Uh, I don't think you were, but uh, yeah, Rhino's a an old friend of mine, and uh, I met him a month a week after my daughter was born, and she turns twenty two this summer. So we've been friends ever since. But one of the one of the best guys. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of a lot of the wrestlers, you know, people think that they're all this tough, you know. But there's a lot of them are the sweetest guys in the world. I I just ran into Jesse Ventura at this uh niagara falls one and and tito santana and we just talked for like i don't know well jesse can talk your damn ear off talk for like <laughs> i think an hour and it's all about jesse but that's a good thing <laughs> that's right so what what was your wrestling career what 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 years were you in wrestling 
Well, I started in uh, 1986. I was in uh, started in Stu Hart's Dungeon in uh, Canada. Then I uh, went to Los Angeles and trained with Red Bastine and Mondo Guerrero. And I wrestled for 11 and a half years all over the world. You know, Germany, Japan, Austria, uh, England, South Africa, Yugoslavia, Mexico. And actually, I got my uh, acting career started in Mexico. Have you ever seen those Mexican wrestling movies? Yeah. The loot. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to do one. And I said, well, I don't speak Spanish. They go, don't worry, we're going to dub you. I'm like, okay, great. It was in like the late 80s. I played an intergalactic vampire that shot laser, laser beams through my fingertips. And I had a fog, a pink fog that followed me everywhere. It was crazy. That was my start into the, but I realized, hey, I'm not getting dropped on my head. I like this. I'm going to transition. And, and uh, that's when I started. And, and when I uh, did X-Men in 1999, I hung up the wrestling boots and haven't looked back. It's kind of funny because around 1997, 98 or something, that's when wrestling really got hot and they had the Monday Night Wars and everything like that. And you had just gotten out of it, huh? Yeah. 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 I was happy to walk away. I mean, it, it takes its toll on your body. You yeah. know, people don't realize that they'd say, you know, it's all stage and everything. And yeah, it is. But you're, you got two 300 pounders picking each other up over your head and dropping them. Things are going to hurt. Yeah. Do you, do you pay attention to any of it uh, anymore or no? Um, I, I've, I'll watch it every once in a while, but I'm not following it so heavily. Like I say, I'm so busy going in every different direction. I don't have much time to sit down and think about that. And if I do, I'm going to be playing call of duty. So, Oh, is that right? <laughs> that's my game. All right. <laughs> Well, you must have more time on your hands than I do because I don't have time to play Call of Duty. I did play hockey this morning, but that was about it. That's that's my extra time. Well, there you go. So you gotta stay active. <laughs> yep. Well, listen, Tyler, uh, you got, of course, Astronomicon 6.5 coming up here uh, June 24th and 25th. And uh, we'll uh, post all the information and then get your, then get uh, the fans get pictures with you and uh, the Twisted guys all for uh, charity. It's all going to be a great cause. And of course, you got those masks and everything, man. It's going to be a great event. Yeah, like I say, one lucky winner is going to walk away with all three masks and the jumpsuit I'm wearing and a portion of the proceeds from the photo op and all the raffle ticket proceeds is going to be going to deliverfund.org. So I want to say thank you to everybody that supports and let's have fun. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? All right, I'll see you there.